In doing so, with her barking, she just sprayed the bed in shit. Oh my god! Whoa. Have a look in there, I think I look. This granny needs to get to bed. Good morning. It's the weekend and I'm happy about it. Starting my morning off, I've still got tears in my eyes. Somehow, I got on to watching Tom and Giovanna, Tom's wedding speech. <laughs> God. <laughs> I've seen it so many times, but it's always on my homepage on YouTube. And I was like, oh, I just I haven't seen this in a while. I'll just watch that every time. That's how my morning's going. My battery died. I don't know where I was. I think it, I was basically just saying that I've been crying at like videos all morning. I am now, I've just finished editing the video. Guys, I've been up since 4 a.m. again. Nala just her tummy is just broken and I am broken as well so I'm feeling pretty tired um but I'm taking it chill today I think I'm gonna run myself a bath which is what I'm doing now and I'm just gonna soak for a bit maybe do a little face mask put some under eye masks on because I need it. And the last of the Christmas presents for some of the girls in the office or in the team arrived this morning, thank goodness. Um, so I am going to wrap those and then I think I might see if we can drive them and drop them at their houses. Might not be today, might be another day, but that's my morning so far. Editing, trying to get a bit more sleep, looking after Nala and watching videos that I know will make me cry. Does anyone ever do that? When you click on a video, you're like, this one will, this one will get me. Oh, God. I also just need to tidy. Me and Alfie just keep saying, like, we need to make the house, like, Christmas ready. And we've done little bits here and there, but it's not enough. I want to, like, properly tidy. Like, get everything sorted. Feel like our house is just all in order. And that everything's wrapped and ready and... I want to do the table. I do think though, this might be a video where I'm not wearing any makeup all day. I just don't know if I can be bothered. I'm gonna have a chilled, tidying, sorting Saturday and not wear any makeup. Right, I'm gonna go and check on my bath. Decide what I want to put in it. What's in here? Ooh, okay. I'm gonna do this. I don't know what this one is, but it smells great. Pop that there, ready? face mask I'm gonna go for is this one this is the Tula skincare star bright nourishing and brightening cosmic hydrogel mask and oh I feel like I bought some pixie eye masks where have I put those found them and I'm gonna do some of these pixie beautify brightening eye patches I'm excited about this my own little pamper I changed my mind <laughs> after my bath and doing my masks I felt fresh and I was like actually I kind of want to put some makeup on because it will make me feel better so I did and I've put on a nice little loungewear set <laughs> this one is from Karen Millen it feels very soft. Alfie has gone to shoot some content, uh, I think, somewhere. And what I think I might do in this vlog is a little Q&A with Alfie, which I hope in turn will produce something actually worth you watching, <laughs> rather than just me being like, guys, I'm so tired today. I'm just waiting for him to come back. What's this on TV? Some kind of cute little film. I've got my shadow. She's being very clingy today. I think it's just because she's not feeling good. You're not feeling good today. Hello. You looking at my camera? Can you see yourself? Look, who's that? Can you see? Look, who's that? Do you see? Is that you? <laughs> Does anyone else have a dog that watches TV like an actual human? She's now watching the TV. 
What's happening? What is that? She's just being so cute today. I can't handle you. We had new bedding on the bed yesterday. The lovely um, Christmas trees that I showed you. Um, and I was on FaceTime to Poppy and Nala barked at a couple of dogs on the TV. This is why it's just reminded me. And in doing so, obviously pugs have a very exposed <laughs> back end. <laughs> bless them um in doing so with her barking she just sprayed the bed in shit for any of you that ever watch my videos and you think oh my god she's just got the perfect life sometimes my dog shits all over my brand new christmas bedding <laughs> but bless her look how she's laying can you see that She's basically my own little hot water bottle at all times. She definitely doesn't seem herself today. Probably because she's tired. Anyway, I'm going to wrap some presents while I wait for Alfie to get back. And I need to now, like, chug loads of water because I made my bath too hot. <laughs> you know when you get out of the bath and you're like, oh my god, I'm the most thirsty I think I've ever been. That is how I feel right now, so... I'm going to make myself a nice cold drink, get out the wrapping paper, get out some of the presents that we've got to wrap and uh, wrap them up. I've, I don't really talk about <laughs> updates and like, you know, stats and things in my vlogs because I feel like a lot of you probably come here to avoid the C word and by C word I do not mean Christmas, I mean coronavirus. But there's just been an announcement stating that there is a new tier, tier 4, which is London and South East and Boris has just said that instead of three households for the five days, we're only allowed three households for only Christmas Day. Oh, the family are ringing. Oh my god! Oh my god! Did you get that? Did you get it? I saw it, but I didn't. I didn't get it. It's like the craziest storm. Out of nowhere. Can you hear the thunder? The hailstones! What the hell? Whoa. Get fired in the corner. They've been building up. Whoa! Hello. I don't even know if they're gonna be able to hear how loud how loud this is. Up there. Look at the hailstones. I've Honestly, we've not had anything like this in so long. There was like a crazy lightning. Crazy. <gasps> Whoa, holy shit. Whoa. Oh, did it just do it again? It looked in my camera like it's just raining, but it's not, it's pale. <gasps> oh my. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Nala's like, what the hell? I don't, I don't think she's experienced much hailstones. <gasps> Whoa! Where was that? That was just there. Whoa! Oh my God, that lightning is crazy. I was literally making Nala's dinner, and that came out of nowhere. There's a thinking Nala's barking at the thunder and lightning and hailstones she's probably just like can i have my dinner please <laughs> if any of you are watching this and you're in a tier four 
I'm so sorry. Like that lip just must suck. Um, the right lips in tier four. I know. So what can you do now? I don't know. I think tier four, no one can see anyone. I think you just have to stay in your house in tier four. Other than people that are fully solo, can still have a sport bubble. I think I think you can still have a sport bubble. So that's and your brother's great. got Diane, obviously. Yeah. Whoa. Scary times, but for, for those of you that that's really affected, I'm just sending you all my love, and I mean, there's nothing I can really say to make it better. But just know that I'm thinking of you, and yeah, I don't know, I have no words. Just know you're not alone. There are so many people that are yeah feeling upset, angry, annoyed, disappointed, let down. However you're feeling. You're not the only one. As like that one day of the year that we all really look forward to. So I do think for so many people right now who this is really, really affected, it's gonna feel so sad. Anyway, I'm gonna carry on keeping on. I'm gonna try and bring you some vlogmas in the midst of this crazy I want to say month, but it's been a crazy year. I'm not gonna lie. I know, and I know these videos are not gonna feel the same, and everything's so different this year. But I really hope that those of you that like watching these videos are able to take some form of positivity away from them, um, because that is why that is why I'm uploading them. That's why I decided to do Vlogmas this year. When I started this, I knew Vlogmas would be a bit different, but I didn't really anticipate it would be so different. <laughs> Um, especially in this last kind of week where usually everything kind of gets ramped up a bit and we all get a bit more excited and see family and friends and like that's just not gonna happen so I feel like that storm was very symbolic on a more positive note it's the Strictly final tonight and I am really excited to watch it I have no idea who's gonna win I think it starts in like 25 minutes actually and as I said me and Alf are gonna answer some questions do a little Q&A care to join me for a little oh that's very sticky what's that honey from yesterday oh look at us in grey what's my hair saying we're envisioning grey so. I look very pink <laughs> why do I look so pink let me see you in real life I'm actually. No, you look cute. No, but look in there, how pink I look. Yeah, you do look a bit pink. I think it's because you've got full face of makeup. Mm. Again, Zoe loves filming next to me with a full face of makeup. I mean, I have for the last eight years. I don't know what you're talking Maybe about. Maybe my skin's just got worse. No, it hasn't. I'm you pink. look lovely. What's up? I don't care. What's up, baby? You shouldn't really be on that blanket. You on our duvet? You've already ruined. You claimed it, have you? Oh. No, 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 you stay there. No, 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 no. no. She jumped no, down. Times like that, I'm like, she 100% knows everything we're saying. That makes me sad. Good you, girl. You could... So, as I said earlier, Alfie and I are going to sit and do a little Christmas Q&A. I feel like I need to have a little hot chocolate or like a cup of tea or something. Yeah. First question is, rate the chocolate boxes. We couldn't be more different on this. Best to work. Uh, we worst to best we couldn't have more opposing views yeah shall i go first or do you want to go first no you go first okay so for me so let's go least favorite to most favorite although let's be honest mm -hmm. i love them all there's no there's none that i don't like oh yeah i'll definitely eat all of them celebrations Any, like, oh my gosh then miniature heroes oh my gosh then quality street then roses and here's my reasoning. Celebrations. You like to be wrong. No. Celebrations, you can eat everything in that all year round. That There's nothing new in that. There's That's nothing, how good they are. There's nothing different. There's nothing They're unique. They're so good. The they can sell them heroes. all year round. The same with heroes. I'm going on nostalgia and like Christmas feels. For me, Quality Street and Roses just are so much more Christmassy. Because those are the two that I always had growing up. Mm-hmm. So, but I do yeah, think I'm not I prefer you're wrong. I prefer I prefer Cadbury's chocolate over the Quality Street chocolate, which is why Roses for me is my top. Your go. Roses. Bottom. Okay. Quality Street, second bottom. Then these two are very close. It depends on my mood, but 
I'm going to say celebrations, then heroes. I feel like more people will agree with you than And me. the reason why is because those chocolates are evidently so good that they can sell them any time, any year round. I feel like people in their 30s will agree with no, me I know and what, everyone else will agree with you. I know what you mean, as in like um, roses and quality streets definitely are more festive. Like we've literally got a box there, a uh, tin. They're definitely more festive. But actual eating, they're not as good. Taste-wise, they're just not as good. Okay. Well, we'll agree to disagree. But no, 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 no. This is where we have to agree. It's amazing that we are the opposite because it means that we don't eat. Like if ours were exactly the same, then we'd all want the same ones. Yes. Yeah, when we actually. have tins here at Christmas, Zoe goes real hard on those two. I go really hard on the other two. So it actually genuinely works perfectly. When you have kids, will you let them decorate the tree? Mmm. Yeah. Me and my brother used to decorate the tree with my mum. You're going to be like my mum was. And the problem is, is when you have little kids, they can only really decorate the bottom half. Yeah. So no, as a parent, you, you need pick to sort get a little ladder. things around. My mum definitely moved the decorations around when me and Joe yeah. helped decorate. My mum was the kind of mum where it's like, oh yeah, come and help me out with the baking. And then I'd like crack the egg in and stir it. And she'd be like, that's perfect. And then take it and then stir <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, that's going to be Zoe. That's going to be me. Zoe, like, our little I'll kids, let them our little kids are going to like put this here. <laughs> yeah. And then Zoe will be like, that looks lovely. They'll turn around and then she'll be like, mm, and move it there. I think the cutest thing, and I had this growing up. I don't know if you did. We, Zoe, um, Nisa, Zoe and I, Poppy and I used to buy like a tiny tree. Like this kind of size from the floor, like that big. Christmas tree. And we'd have it in our room. We used to decorate those ourselves. So we had like a tiny oh, tree that's ourselves. So cute. In our bedroom we had a tiny tree. Or that's sometimes such like a good idea. sometimes just in the kitchen, like a tiny little tree and we would decorate that one. That's such a good idea. Because then you don't ha then you don't have to be precious about what that looks like. Yeah. Yeah, that's cute. What do you typically put in stockings? So mm. when did we start doing this? Because it this was only Two or three years ago? Nah, like, I wanna say about four years ago we started doing stockings. And we No, we've always done stockings, but we've started doing it in this way. Have we? I don't feel like I ha had a stocking. Did I? My mum and dad used to buy you insurance stocking and me Yeah, you used to buy all of us a stocking. Oh, oh god, I can't I can't even remember that. Yeah. Then one year we decided we would all buy each other a stocking present. Do you remember? So like one I would buy for... one present for each person and we would put them in the stockings. Yeah. And we would open one of those stocking presents on Christmas Eve. It became like a tradition. We would all sit round with so our matching pyjamas on. So everyone would have six presents in their stocking. No, yeah. five presents, sorry, in their stocking. And we would sit with our pyjamas on, on Christmas Eve, all like cosy with the fire on, and we would pick one present that we were allowed to open. And then as right, the years have gone on... this year, and it's making me sad. We decided to make it like a secret Santa stocking, which I prefer because then you just focus on one person. So mm. we draw names out of a hat, and every year we get a secret person and we fill their stocking. And what's the lim price limit? Is it 30 or 50? I can't remember. We put a price I'm limit on it. I'm not too sure, it. actually. I feel like I should know, but yeah. I don't know. So we then buy for that person, but nobody knows who. And then on Christmas Eve... And we all wrap in the same, so we all wrap it in brown paper. We all wrap in brown so paper. So the person that I've got this year, I'll wrap their presents in brown paper. And then everyone goes out the room and I put it in a stocking and everyone, like... We basically, we do it so we don't know who's got who. And then, somehow over the years, we just now just open all of the stocking presents on Christmas Eve. Just get too excited. Yeah. So usually what's in them is just like any nice little thoughtful gifts for that person that we had. But it's just, I think it just adds another element of like fun. It's not necessary. And then you're trying to work out as well. So like when I open mine, I'm like opening one present, I'm like, Trying oh, to work I feel out like that could it. have been a Poppy kind of present. And then open the other one, I'm like, oh, I don't know. And then I'm like, I reckon, Poppy, you got me this year. I reckon you bought me these. Yeah. Because obviously the wrapping paper is the same for everyone, so. The most festive room in your house, probably these two rooms. Yeah, I'd say these two. But also I do feel like once the dining room is done, that feels really Christmassy. When, when the food's on the table, yeah, and by the far table's the dining done, room, yeah. And there's a tree in there, and the fireplace is done, that always feels very Christmassy. But Christmas Eve plans? <laughs> we don't know anymore. <laughs> we need to rethink those. Are we allowed outside in like mum and dad's gazebo? Well, I suppose 
the tier two rules up to Christmas Day haven't changed, so we can still go in their garden. So, so. we could get mum and dad to decorate their gazebo in their garden like and Christmassy, eat our Christmas Eve and then lunch we could eat Christmas Eve lunch in there. Potentially, we'll see what they say if they with the masks on change. and like. Who's better at wrapping gifts? Ooh, I'm gonna say you. I think it's pretty close. I'm better it, at fluffing gifts. Yeah, you're. I'm better at like the Alfie's better practical, at the actual, like, like give me an folding. obscure shape. Yeah, that's, about, that's me. But then Zoe can like make it look great. Why have we never tag teamed this? I should do. Yeah, I should do all the actual just normal wrapping. Yeah, and then you add all like the little extras on top. Because that's the bit I like. I don't enjoy the actual wrapping of the presents. Yeah, that I do bit enjoy I don't. That. Yeah, see that. This is why we work so well together. When you like my ribbon, of course. <laughs> <laughs> have, it, have it grown on you? Have people commented? Have you seen? The I comments? haven't gone to check actually on that vlog. I, I want to go check. and check the comments. Favorite food on Christmas? Oh, it's so hard because cheese. for me, it's just. I'm gonna say cheese. The cheese board. Yeah, cheese board. The cheese board. Mine is just the Christmas dinner, but I couldn't pick one thing on the Christmas dinner because I like it all together. Like, do you prefer giving or receiving gifts? giving 100% every time every time I love giving gifts especially when you've really thought of something that you think someone's gonna really love when there's something under the tree like we get a couple of presents for each person but there'll always be one that's like a bit more special yeah I always want them to open that one last do you ever notice? Because we sort yeah, of hand you try the and like hide out. things. I try and, and like, hide all the good like. ones yeah. until the end. And you know that scene in Gavin and Stacey when it's Christmas and um, Stacey is like, okay, well, I'm going to hand them round and I'm going to go first if that's okay with everyone. I'm like, why is that me on that Christmas is, yeah. Day? Zoe <laughs> like sits down because we put all the presents under the tree. My mum and dad come over and pop, and pop in short and we put everyone's out under the tree. And then Zoe will be like, uh, not that, Amanda? Not that one yet. I'll be like, no, yeah. no, not that one yet. Yeah. <laughs> That's literally so. But Alfie doesn't care, so he'll just be like, yeah, open that one, that's fine. And I'm like, that's the big you know, I only, main one. I only... Classy or cosy clothes on Christmas Day? Only cosy. And I say, only this, cosy. I say this because Alfie and his family are always like, you don't dress up on, uh, for Christmas Day. What are you talking about? We're just like matching pyjamas all day. But I only d did that when I met Alfie because my whole life... My mum has gotten us so dressed up for Christmas Day, like Joe in a little waistcoat, me in like a little dress. But I do love that it's more cosy now. I think I will put a bit of makeup on this year though. Yeah? Yeah, because I hate looking what, back at the photos. What, straight away from the first thing? Yeah. And that is the one thing with us all being so like... Slobby. <laughs> slobby and just eating all day and like sleeping and chilling. There isn't ever really any like... Nice There's photos. nice pictures, but for us, they would never like go on the wall in the house or anything. Do you think when we have families, we'll still all be really chilled? Or do you think we'll all dress up to go and see each other? Because like, actually- I've been you, chilled. Do you think? Yeah. Like all the kids will just be like in their PJs all day. Yeah, but they'll be like, it's not just like boxes, is it? It's like- Yeah, true. It's like Christmas, like we still all buy like, we all buy matching Christmas pajamas, so it's special. So I am gonna end this Q and A here, but um, we're gonna watch the Strictly final now. And I Shit, hope- is it on now? Yeah, it's on now. And um, I hope you enjoyed that little Q&A. Let me know some of the answers to the questions. Or if you've got any more questions, because yeah. just going to throw it out there. We've got a lot of vlogs with just us. <laughs> so if you've got yeah. any more questions. Oh, hello. We are in the car. <laughs> it is nearly half ten. Way past my bedtime. But we were on... Um, FaceTime with Poppy and Sean and Stephen and Alexia and everyone was feeling a little bit glum because of the new um, the new Christmas rules so we were like should we just all go for a little beach walk so I don't know if Poppy and Sean are coming but we're going to meet Stephen and Alexia maybe grab a little hot drink from somewhere and have a little stroll on the beach to end this Saturday on a little call us crazy a hot, a hot, is it called a hot toddy? do you remember when we used to get that in Scotland? doesn't that have whiskey in it? Yeah. Oh. Get out, get some fresh air. Hopefully we'll sleep well. We'll just listen to a bit of Harry Styles. Cruising down to the beach. Probably won't be too long because, you know, this, this granny needs to get to bed. But I'm excited. We've stumbled upon 
a retro Santa in this little gallery. Nice and festive. What do you think, Bay? You like it? She's like, I just want to go inside. Yeah. Finished our little walk. It's now quarter past midnight. That is wild. We actually stopped off at a McDonald's and I got a little hot chocolate. I actually think a McDonald's hot chocolate is really, really good. It's probably up there with one of my favorite hot chocolates to buy from anywhere. I don't know why I love it so much. It tastes like a bowl of Wheatos, like the cereal, milk, warmed up and it's just so good. Um, but I think I'm gonna end this vlog here because my battery's flashing and we're on our way home and I'm most likely gonna just be rolled into bed. So I hope you enjoyed today and I'll see you again tomorrow. Say goodnight. See you tomorrow. Good night.